Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Ratchet here, and welcome back to more Kerbal Space Program, where in this episode I will be trying to get to the Mun. Now, this won't be the first time I've ever gone there, but it will be the first time in this series, and I haven't played the game for about a year or so, uh, since the last time I actually tried getting to the Moon, or the Mun. I'm just going to be calling it the Moon, because it basically is the Moon. Uh, and a lot of you guys be like, it's the Mun, call it the Mun, and I've actually got a lot of other comments that were kind of negative as well. But because of those comments, I've gone back and I've played the tutorial to get myself kind of a bit more in the know-how so I, I know what the icons mean on the map now. The, the uh, names are skipping me right now, but I do know how to increase and decrease my orbit depending on where I am in that orbit. So now I can at least try to get to the moon. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm going to be great at doing it, and I know a, a few you guys are still going to rage and cringe in the comments down below, but I am going to be trying to do better at this game, so I think doing the tutorial was a good start to actually getting a little bit better at it. But, yeah, there's a weird mix between trying to make it funny and, and trying to make it progressive as well, because I find humour comes from me messing up, but then if I mess up, people are like, that's so cringy. And then I have to try to do good, but if I do good, then it's not funny. So I'm going to try to, well, I, I, basically I'm just going to create things and see what happens. And I know that might make some of you guys cranky, but I find it more entertaining for me to edit down. So anyways, let's get to building a rocket. So we are now ready for liftoff, we're taking yet again Jebediah Kerbin, so hopefully this won't fail straight away. I decided to use uh, boost rockets on the outside here, and then I have a few uh, small tanks here with a few rockets. I'm hoping that this here, with the three rockets underneath and the boosters, that this will at least get me into near orbit, and then I could use these up here to get me to the moon and to land. I do like the atomic rockets, despite them being slightly weak, they are handy to have because they don't go through uh, fuel like very quickly. But I think I've got all the staging right here, so we should be okay for liftoff. I do have a parachute just in case things go wrong, as well as a few landing gears just in case I will be landing. So, let us begin our journey into maybe space. That was a smooth takeoff actually. I kind of expected that to mess up a lot worse than what it did. But uh, it's nice to know that it's flying smooth for now. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going through fuel like crazy though. Damn, that, that's that's eating up a lot of fuel. A lot more than I wanted though. But uh, oh well. 
we'll see what happens. So once I get up to about 20k meters, I'm going to start tilting myself to the right here. Now, that is uh, the fact that I might run out of fuel before I get to that, so there is that problem to worry about. But um, we, we, we should be okay to get to at least 20 uh, so we should start tilting uh, any second now, but I want to break off these other rockets first, so we'll, uh, we'll do that now. So they've broken off, and we can break them off as well, and just use these for uh, the little little less, little less, more thrust that we need. But uh, we got up a lot higher than I expected us to once we lost all that weight. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here, and since we are going out of the atmosphere quite fast, I'm going to try to spin that around here, so... Let's see if we can actually get close enough to going in orbit of the Moon. For our first try of getting to the Moon in such a long time, it only came down to the lack of fuel. I think that was my biggest problem right now, was the simple fact that I didn't have enough fuel to make this journey. Yeah, there we go, we're out of fuel now. Ah, uh, hang on, well, let's see what happens if I do this. Is this going out at all? Oh, sorry, no, RCS needs to be on. Can I increase that? That's actually going up. That's going up quite a lot. Well, we, we might be able to crash into the moon nonetheless. But I think for my first journey of ever trying to get to the moon since doing the training and stuff, I don't think I did too badly. Maybe I could build a, a lot smaller of a, of a rocket and maybe make it more efficient. But uh, I'm not the one for small scale, I don't think. I, I prefer to build my rockets big and just to see how that goes. But, um, <laughs> oh well. Maybe maybe we'll encounter the moon. I don't think we'll slow down time. I don't think the RCS has enough power. At least not, not the three I have on the ship right now. It it won't. It definitely won't be enough to slow us down in time. Anyway, yeah, definitely. Uh, we we can probably burn Retro retrograde. That's it. Retrograde and what was the other one? Prograde, prograde and retrograde. I remember the words. <laughs> uh, it took took me to see the icons to remember what they were called. But I, I could retro burn maybe <laughs> with RCS thrusters to get down to, onto the moon. I doubt that'll help much. God, that would not do a thing. I, I definitely don't think it would do a thing anyway. We could try retro burning. I'll fast forward this for you guys, definitely. Oh well, landing in the darkness. Let's see how this goes for me. Let's get the uh, let's get the gears out here. Let's uh, throttle forward. Hang on, I said gears out. Well, okay, definitely not gears out then. And we definitely didn't lift. So I present to you Rickety Rocket version two. With more thrusters and an atomic engine in the middle, which I'm hoping will get me just that little bit closer to the Mun. So, without further ado, let's check if we're lined up here, and we might launch. Uh, a little too early yet, we'll have to wait. Okay, so we're ready for launch. Three, two, one, go! And nothing exploded. That was nice. <laughs> that, that always, uh, I don't know why that always surprises me, that nothing blows up at first. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that. That actually looks really cool. Am I going off slightly? I think I'm going off... No, I, I guess not. It's just probably my camera angle. Makes me think I'm going off to the side slightly. But uh, we're going up quite quickly here. Hopefully, we'll get up to 20k yet again, and I'll start turning to the side. So as it turns out, I didn't even need the other engines on. These booster rockets are enough to get me up there as it is. I wish I had known that. That would have saved me so much fuel. Okay, so now I'm going to start turning off to the side here. There we go, and there's the others. See, there, there we go, so now we have extra height here, and we should still be in line with everything. Let's uh, just, just make sure here. Let's turn on RCS here so we can stabilize ourselves just a little bit more. So we're on our way to the Mun. We have a path and everything set. I'm just keeping an eye on this little teeny ball thing so I don't go off course. I'm actually using the little node system. Uh, like I said, it makes it a little bit easier for me to do because I can't do this off my head. So, yeah. 59 seconds of burning. Uh, hopefully we should have enough. I think the other engines might run out, but I saw the atomic engines that I can use to both get there and get from there. It might just mean I'll have to burn a little bit longer than what it's currently saying. Because I don't think the other engines have enough uh, fuel to last that long. So, But at least we can jettison them and make ourselves a little bit lighter, so that might help us out just a little bit more. Uh, 30 seconds of burning and probably only 15 seconds of fuel. But like I said, at least at least I can jettison them once and be a little bit lighter. And, and also, this thing controls like crazy in space. I don't know if it's offside. It might be because of a certain thing I have on it. But uh, other than that, it's uh, okay. Estimated burn of yeah. There we go. Let's get rid of them, and it gives us back down to 40 seconds, and we're a lot more stable now, which is nice. So yeah, we should be able to get there easily, I think. 
Uh, where's our current thing? Here we go. So now we're, we're just waiting for this to go out, and then it will intersect with the moon right here. So that that's basically what we're trying to do. We'll go around, and then once we get inside its gravitational force, we'll create orbit, and then we'll just go back to um, landing on it. That's all good. A little kind of pointless having these things here, unless I actually do jettison it, which I think I probably will do. But that, that's no big deal as it is, so... Oh, here we go. Hang on. Definitely, they're catching up here, so... Let's uh, slow down here, because we don't want to go too far. And cut the engines when need be. Cut, I'll cut them now, and then I'll just uh, thrust out when need be. I think... Oh, there we go. We have we have some collision course. Yeah, I think that's when we come back around and we'll encounter the moon. Great! And how much fuel do we have left? Half a tank. Perfect. I just realized we might be intersecting the moon at a really bad angle, because I think once I encounter it, I'm all, probably going to be on a collision course with it. So that might be slightly problematic. Actually, no, 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 we, we won't be. Yeah, there, there we go. Now I just have to retro burn uh, to line up with it. Or I can just create an orbit. Either one works for me. Burn like this and try to get around. That was my fault completely. I can't believe I messed that up so badly. But we should be we should we should be okay, I think. As long as I as long as I do this right, I think I'll be okay. Cause once I get a slight orbit going, I'll be fine. Even if I have a wonky orbit. There we go, and cut. See? Done. Great. I can't believe I messed that up though. <laughs> uh... Okay, now we just, we just wait till this, and then we can just, uh, uh, retro burn. Okay, what we want to do now, because since I've, since I studied the tutorial, at least it should work. I'm going to retro burn right at the parapsis, which will decrease this, the apoapsis, to go uh, close to the moon. Uh, at least from my studies. And I keep pressing the wrong keys. That's going to, that's going to kill me sometime. That, that's, that's going to be the death of me. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to burn here. Look at that. Look at that's beautiful. I'm doing so well. <laughs> I don't know. You guys will probably find something to complain about in the comments down below. But uh, I I'm happy with myself. At least the fact that I'm doing this now. I, I do thank you guys for telling me to do, to to do the tutorial. I guess if you guys were easy on me, uh, this would probably be uh, a bad situation. But we're probably going to get into a really nice orbit here, actually. I, I don't know if I'm going to make it even. It's kind of pointless to make it even, but y you know. I think if I burn inwards like that, there we go. Now, now we've got a good orbit going. See, I've, I'm orbiting the moon. I want to land on the sunny side up though. Where's the sun? That side. I c uh, I'll wait till I orbit around till here, and then I'll decrease the epoapsis. Uh, sorry, the uh, perapsis. Periapsis? I, I I don't know if I'm even saying them right. I'm just saying them just, just the way I read it. So I'll wait till I go around here. And then I'll burn down. I'll retro burn. And that should, if I'm correct, that should bring this side down. It should. So I'll land on the sunny side. Uh, I'm saying should, but I could be completely wrong with what I'm saying. But this is this is space. This is science. This is me learning the game. So let's see how, how learning this game goes for me. <laughs> well, that's working. Look at that! I'm I'm gonna land on the sunny side of the moon. I can even uh, drag that out if I wanted to as well. Actually, I probably won't land on the sunny side. I think that'll be wrong. Um, hang on. I'll burn upwards, upwards just slightly here, just to increase that just a little. So I'll land over here. Yeah, that's that's what I want. I don't want to land um, too close to the dark side because I I don't, I don't want to risk landing in the darkness. I I could I could have brought some light, but I want to land in the sunlight for you guys. So I think I'm gonna use the atomic to get myself down, and then I'll use the um, the RCS that I have up here, because I have the monopropellant tank right here, which is full, which should get me enough uh, thrust to just land me, so that that's that's basically what I'm doing, is I'm relying on the uh, RCS. I probably could have done the other way. I think that's why a lot of people, when they build spacecrafts, they'll build it so that the, um, the ship's upside down, if, if that makes sense, so uh, like they can still land without having to worry about the thrusters and tanks and stuff. I think that's probably what I should have focused on, but... Can you not go to that camera, please? Thank you, just do the camera I want. Yeah, I'll save RCS fuel for now, because we can control it via the gimbal here. Which is nice. So that's what we want. 
So what I want to do is I want to cancel out all... Oh, am I doing that to way too early? Nah, we'll be fine. We should be fine anyway. It might be slightly dark, but it won't be in like complete darkness or anything. I'm glad I remembered how to land on the moon though. Like, I'd, I don't think they did that in the tutorial. They tell you how to get to the moon and how to get off of the moon, but not how to get on the moon. <laughs> so, um... I don't think I'm actually going to have enough fuel unless I slow down my thrusting here. But I don't want to... I'm going I, I'm going quite high as it is right now, so... Uh, sorry, I'm slowing down a lot. That's what I was meant to say. But what I'll do is I'll let myself just fall a little more here. Okay, so I'm not wasting all the fuel until, until it's needed. But now I should be almost on a direct drop or descent into the moon. Okay, so what I, what I was going to do is going to detach this, use the RCS, like I said, at the last second to save myself. Probably the dumbest way of getting on the moon, but it's just the way I'm, I was thinking about it. So turn on RCS now, just for safekeeping. Once it starts slowing me down here. I see the ground, I can see it. Okay. I'll slow down a lot here. the fuel that we have. That way we'll be extremely light when we when we land. Okay. Don't wanna don't wanna don't wanna do that too too much. We still wanna fall. Still wanna fall. Just not just not too fast. <laughs> Auto saving. Uh, I can see the rocks, so I know we're I know we're extremely close. Like I said, once this runs out, I'll have to. Um... Okay, can we go gears now? Can we please gears? Gear. There we go. Thank God they went out. I was a bit worried that they wouldn't go out for a second. Okay, well, we're gonna have to slow down slightly here, and we'll ditch the last bit at like the last second. So. Probably not, like I said, probably not the ideal thing to do, but at least I know I'll be landing safely on on this thing. So we'll go ditch. Oh wait, we don't have any, really the RCS isn't working now? Oh god damn it. I assumed, because I had RCS tanks on this, the RCS, no, don't go geared down, you idiot. Oh, it, okay, I understood what happened then. The actual thing it, itself decoupled. That would have to be the dumbest way I have ever landed on the moon, and I actually used an engine to stop me. Yeah, that, that was my fault for thinking the decoupler would stay attached to me for whatever reason. I thought that was a thing. Oh well, we landed. Let's let's get the guy out of here. I think this ladder might be a bit too long, but uh, whatever. We're on the moon, and I'm happy we're on the moon. Does it stop automatically? Oh, it just goes into the ground. Okay. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a screenshot of that. There we go. Perfect. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, yay! The moon! Oh, it's, it actually did survive. It was just the engine itself that blew up. I could have actually just landed it down with the engine on the bottom, because it would have it would have detonated the engine, but that probably would have lived, so I could have just landed it like that. But uh, since we're here on the moon for the first time, I'm going to plant down my flag, because you have to. You can't not plant down your flag. The Brad Fusion flag will go up high today. Brad, the Fusion Industries flag. There we go. Jeb was here. 2014. Hashtag Jeb. <laughs> oh. So, that does it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, despite me messing up slightly towards the end then, with my silly idea of getting onto the moon. I could have screwed it all up, but I didn't. So, thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I will see you guys next time. What's my next challenge be? Should I go to Mimus? Or should I try to maybe get to the moon and go back again? Should I save Jeb? Maybe we should save Jeb. I don't think Jeb will like being out here by himself. At least he has a nice home. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.